Yo, what's up everybody? So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change a tire on your RV real quick. So I'll spin the camera around and show you what we're dealing with. Okay, doing a tire change on a majestic rental RV or some shit, right? So we got the hubcap off and that just kind of pried off with a flathead. And then look at this spare in here. Oh uh, wow, like ancient times. And that's rusted to shit, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I can't turn it. So, mini sledge. Here we come. Right, let's see if we can get this thing loosened up with the mini sledge. Oh shit. Weird compartments all over. Alright. Definitely easier with two hands, but Not enough lift to shimmy it out, I don't think. Let's see. Nah. This thing for a Okay guys, I finally got it loose enough, I think. Okay guys, so I got the spare tire out. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this thing and I'll show you pretty much how I get everything done. All right, this is a big Ford E350 or something. So first things first on a tire change, I wanna set the e-brake, but they got the door locked. So I guess we're not doing that. I'm gonna be using a two-ton jack from Harbor Freight. Ow, freaker. That hurt, pinched the hell out of my finger. Valve here. So it's nice and tight. There we go. Push that under and we'll go under and put this under the axle. Somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Look what happened to that tire, it just tore it all apart. All right, no worries. We'll get in here and get this thing jacked up. Damn, I pushed the shit out of my thumb. That freaking hurt. Ow. All right, so 
get the bottle jack in, then adjust it. Now it doesn't want to adjust, huh? All right, whatever, I'll deal with that later. I'll just jack it up for now, but normally it'll, let me see if I can get it. Oh, whatever, the jack doesn't want to unscrew. I was beating on it and using it as a uh, anvil the other day, so I'm not surprised, but anyway, we'll just get this jacked up real quick and get this thing changed out. If I can get it center under there. Messing up my fingers today. Come on, man. There we go. Okay, so then once it gets in, I'll use this handle. There we go. Jack this baby up. Okay. There we go. This baby jacked up. So I'm using a, what is this, 7.8 seven eight, seven eight socket on a Milwaukee 18 volt drill from Harbor, or, uh, from uh, Home Depot. Put on setting number three, should zip these lug nuts right off. side then give it a good kick or push and it should come off notice this one has a dowel pushing out on it right here so you're gonna have to line the, the new rim up and this rim up with that dowel if you don't you're gonna have an issue it's not gonna want to go on so just keep that in mind of course it doesn't want to come off so we're gonna have to persuade it If your wheel won't come off, even if you kick it, take your spare tire and roll it into it. Like so. And that'll get it to come off. If it gets stuck on the hub, but no big deal, that trick will work. Okay. So we'll get this one out of the way. We have to put some air in this other one. And here's our bad flat tire here. All right, so here's our bad flat tire here. We're just gonna wiggle it, kind of walk it off of there. Try not to pinch our fingers on anything or stab them on these wires. Just kind of got to walk it off that hub. Shake it back and forth. And tug on it. Sometimes you can sit down and kick it one side to the other and then give it a pull. As you can see, these wheels don't come off easily. So the problem for that, 
it's so tight around this hub right here to the rim, right? So like I said, you're just gonna have to walk it, you know, one side to the other, back and forth to get it to, to release itself, so. Just got to get just past that little lip right there that little edge and then once it's off that little edge it'll come off I think I'm tearing my arm up trying to get this thing off just so you guys can see what it takes to get Heifer's off sometimes. There we go. All right, she's off. Gosh dang, what a bear that was. Okay, per usual, these tires are low on air. It needs to go to 80 PSI, it's only at 42. I'm using my Milwaukee Compact Inflator from Home Depot. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. Get it buzzing up. Get that one filled up. We'll put this one in the back while we're waiting. All right, so this has the valve stem extender on it. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. I already loosened it before I started filming. It wasn't that loose. But we're gonna loosen this and we're gonna put this one on that one. All right guys, so I heard the air pump just go off. It died at 75 PSI, but you know, that's the last battery I had for the day. So went through all the other ones. We'll put the extender on. Really ideally you wanna have Teflon tape when you're putting one of these on to make sure it seals properly and doesn't leak. Cause these things are number one cause of a flat tire on an RV. You gotta make sure you thread it on correctly. So just, Take your time, put it on right, hand tight, and then get you a pair of needle nose or pliers. And just gently pinch it and give it a couple turns. Doesn't need to be squeezed super tight or put on overly tight. That'll do right there. And then we're gonna slide that one on. Like I said, this thing has a dowel on it. So that dowel right there has to line up with the dowel hole that's on the rim. All of these holes are big except for that one. That one is the small one, right? So that's the dowel hole. So you gotta slide it in with the dowel hole there and with this uh, valve stem extender coming forward. So it pretty much predicts where it's gonna go on the axle when you put it on there. All right, we're running out of time here. Kind of 
kick it on to that last bit of the hub part. Like that. And then grab your outside wheel. Maybe it's where the dowel's gonna line up right there. Put the dowel on the rim. Get that again. And spin it around until it lines up. Then put it on, give it a couple of kicks. on the hub then start putting your lug nuts on hand tighten them you know about five or six rotations to make sure you don't cross thread them see how that dowel sticking out that's how you do it hand tighten these so you know you're not cross threading them Yeah, look at the marks that left on my arm. That arm, that arm, look at that. Yeah, I should have been more careful than I was. I was just trying to be in a rush, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. All right, so now we got them all on. We'll get our impact, set it on setting number two. Boom, there we go. Cross pattern get it seated correctly now that sounds kind of weak doesn't sound like it's impacting right. Let's check it. Yep. See, I can hear with my ear that it was low, but I got another pack. So, I can hear when I'm tightening something down, if it's tightening correctly or not. And I could tell with that when it wasn't, but I carry more packs with me. So, I got this one, and it's at 100%. So, see if you guys can see that one. Hundo percento. All right. So, change out this battery real quick. Setting number two keeps it on the torque specs that we need. And now, listen to the difference. Doesn't really move it that much more than it was, honestly. But, it sounded more dead than it was, I guess. Then once I let it down off of this jack, Tighten it one more time just for good measure. This cross pattern here. All right, we'll go ahead and let that jack down. And then we'll be all set to go. it see the new tires on there get all our tools get up out of here all right so we got it down off the jack I'll just give it one more tighten for good measure it's not moving it's not moving all right he's all good that's how you change a tire on your E450 motorhome. That's it, easy breezy. Unless you gotta do it all by hand, then, it, then it's definitely not easy breezy. So, sorry to you guys that had to watch me do that with an impact, but I gotta do my stuff easy breezy and get up on to the next one.
Woo. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.